Hey guys, welcome to Crisis X Barrow's Guide. Uh, in this video, I will teach you guys how to do all barrel bosses without taking a single hit. Yeah, it's easy as one, two, three, and you know, someday you guys might look like my guy. Um, but first, um, let me show you what equipment you guys will need for barrows. Alright, guys, for this vid, uh, to do barrows, uh, you don't recommend really need all the gears that I have, but it's easier if you do. Um, I recommend using a bow of some sort, magic bow with rune arrows, or you got crystal bow, which is also nice because it hits high and you can do fast damage. Um, and you need a shield of some sort. Well, all right, guys. Um. To get here, you go to your spell book. If you have ancient magic, you can click this button right here, and then you click barrows, and you teleport straight here. Um, once you're here, don't forget to bring a shovel. Um, shovels are really important because you need a shovel to get into the barrows caves. So, um, there's the guy that you'll come back to later and alright so let's check this out for the first guy we're gonna fight Arams alright guys for this next part I'm showing you how to kill Torags you already seen me kill Arams and Arams is really easy Torags is also just as easy as Arams because the owner Mark has made it so where Torags, um, Dorox, and Krills can't hit you. So, Torags is really easy. So, um, you don't have to worry about fighting Torags for this part. So, um, after we kill Torags, we're gonna head straight to the next part, which will be. Alright guys, for this next part, you're gonna fight Krills. Krills is also easy. They can't hit you, so it's pretty much um just attacking Krills until he dies. So I'm gonna speed up this part too. And this is basically Krills, he's easy, he uses range. That's basically it. Um for the next part. Alright guys, for this part I am fighting Arams, so what you have to do is you come down the stairs and you're right here. To wake Arams up, you click on that and then you'll see your Arams right there. Now you need 37 magic to fight him and turn protect from magic on and fight away and he will die pretty fast um so uh just do that and you already beat arams and he is one out of the six that actually do damage there is only alright guys for this next part or for the last part at least, I am showing you guys how to kill Varric. Um, as you've seen, the kid just died by Varric's, um, which is funny, because he could use this guide very much. I've already woke him up, he should be right there, hopefully I don't attack the one he was attacking, so I can show you guys how to do this. Alright, so you first off start and I didn't attack him good you start out by ranging him and <laughs> this is kinda hard to do um, you wanna get him stuck like right there I can't do it my first time because I haven't done it in a while and uh, these people will not move their now that's how you do it right there um, you basically just get them stuck right there and um, you can hit range them yeah, you don't take any damage I did because I haven't done it in a while 
But, um, that is how you kill all five bears, monsters, without getting attacked, and without dying successfully. And if I would have died, I would have lost my sled, my arms, my AGS. Someone would have got really rich. And thanks for watching the vid, guys, and I'll see you on Crisis.